Okay, I will explain about this question. Okay, this is the linear law question, and and one of my Facebook Facebook student actually posed this question to me and asked me how to solve this one. And I I I check out this question and I find that maybe a lot of students have the same problem. So I just like uh, choose this question to make it become video. All right, so in this question you will see some things. First is your graph actually the y axis and x axis is in uh in terms of log. So you see log y plus one for y axis and log x for x axis. And then the question says the diagram show a straight line obtained by plotting a graph. Okay, log ten y plus one against log ten x. Express y in terms of x. Actually this question is quite simple, but in order to do this question you have to understand something. Alright. About this chapter, you always need to understand y equals to m x plus c. All right. Actually, it's quite simple. You already have your y. Your y actually is given. It's log 10 y plus 1. And also, you have your x. Your x actually is log 10 x. But the problem is, you do not have the gradient and the y in the set. I mean, the m and c. So, in order to solve the part A, you have to find out your gradient and the y-intercept as well. Yeah, actually y-intercept is very direct in this case. You see on the diagram here, the line actually passing through the y-axis, I mean the vertical axis, uh, because in this case it's not called y-axis, the vertical axis at 2. So obviously my c is equal to 2. Alright, so I just need to find out my m. So in order to find out my m, I know the gradient formula. Gradient formula equals to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So I can easily get two coordinates on the line itself. So when I have a 2 on the vertical axis, this one means 0, 2. And this one is negative 2 and 6. So I can call this one is y2 minus y1. Uh, green color is just not so nice. Yeah, y2 minus y1 means 6 minus 2 and then over x2 negative 2 minus x1 which is 0 so you will see what happened so you I will have 6 minus 2 over uh, negative 2 minus 0 this is how we find the gradient alright so basically you have 4 over negative 2 which is the gradient is negative 2 alright now I get my m is equals to negative 2 Everything will look very easy now. So I just need to solve it and f make sure I have the equation x in uh, express and x. You know, I mean, I have the equation y in terms of x, something like that. All right. So I just substitute everything in here. So I have log 10 y plus 1, which is my y, my big y here. Okay. Equals to my m is negative 2. And my x is log 10 x plus my c is 2 you see actually everything is very simple this is my y my m my x and my c all right then you just need to solve this equation i think you can easily get the answer okay of course over here you need to have some basic understanding about log in order to solve this one so what i will do is whatever have log i'm going to group them together so this is log 10 y plus 1 oops okay just let me erase this one i do again okay this is uh use let me use back the blue or black yeah i just love black so much okay this is log 10 y plus 1 this is minus 2 log 10 x isn't it i move to the other side of the equation i have plus 2 log 10x equals to 2. Isn't it? Minus 2, it just become plus. Okay, nothing very special. Alright, and the log rule tells us that whatever number multiple the log, we can move up over here, become power. Alright, so I have log 10 y plus 1 plus log 10 x square. Remember, the square is only for x. The square is not for the whole thing. Okay, 
Yeah, this is something very important. Lots of students will make this kind of current mistake. All right, then I can factorize out log. I factorize out log 10. What will happen is whatever plus here, it will become multiple. So I will have y plus 1 multiple with x squared. This is how I call it, factorize out log. All right, then what I do next is I just move the log 10 to the other side. So I hope you understand about this one. So I'm going to call this one y plus 1 x squared. When I move the log 10 to the other side, it will become 10 power of 2. Okay, be, uh, it is because of this rule, we have something like log a b equals to c. b will equals to a power of c. Alright, I hope you understand about how this log rule works in order to do linear law. Alright, if you understand this one, yeah, it will be good for you. So, so you just remember my base 10 here become a number and my 2 here will become the power of the number. Alright, then I want y in terms of x, isn't it? So, of course, I will move my x to the other side first. So, I have y plus 1 equals to 100 over x squared. Alright, so my y will equals to 100 over x squared minus 1. I think this is the answer. Of course, if you want to like do further, make them have the same denominator, you can do that. But I, but I don't think you need that. If you want to rearrange this one into the y equals to mx plus c, you can do that also. But I'm not sure it's necessary or not, because the question just asks us to express y in terms of x. So you just need to make y as a subject, and then on the other side, you only have x. You cannot have, you cannot have log anymore. So if I rearrange this one into the y equals to mx plus c, I have y equals to 100 multiple 1 over x squared minus 1. So you see my y, my m, my x, and my c. Alright, this is not, not so hard if you understand about log rule and you understand why you can form the equation like this and how you actually do it. Because you have to understand y equals to mx plus c, and then you have to understand this formula and how do I get this one from the from the diagram also. Alright, then B. He asks us to find the values of x when y equals to 0. This one is very simple. So when y equals to 0, I just make my y become 0 over here. So my y is 0. Okay, so here I'm going to continue. This one, yeah, just move back. This is 100 over x squared minus 1. Okay, I substitute into this equation because I just make my life easier. Alright, so I move my 1 over here. Ni minus 1 becomes plus 1 equals to 100 over x squared. Then I multiply x squared here. x squared equals to 100. Then I just move my x square to the other side. You will become square root 100. But as an MF student, most of the time you just remember square root you have plus minus. Alright. Unless some case you only have plus, but most of the case you have plus minus, so you have plus minus 10. Right, so I believe this is your answer. Your x can be 10 or negative 10. Alright, this is how to solve this kind of linear law, linear law question. Alright, it's not really hard, but this kind of question, first you have to understand actually how you get gradient, and what is the meaning for your vertical exit in log, and what is the meaning yeah, your horizontal exit in log or so. Yeah, I hope my short video actually can help you understand a bit about linear law. Anyways, thanks for watching. I will see you guys soon. Bye-bye.